Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jerry Cooley. I'm Deborah Nelson. She is just such a joy. You just can't imagine the abuse that I take off camera around here. <laughs> but you know what? It's my hobby. I'm getting one back. She aggravated me about the prairie issue last week. So I got one for her, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you go ahead and sing the Praise Obama song. Get all you little children in there and sing the Obama song for us, Deborah. You're talking about the school kids. <laughs> Where's the ACLU on that? Why? Why would they care? They should care. Why would they care? It's, I it's have the a, president. I'm gonna tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. He's just like just just like W. He's the president of everybody. This you know is one? no different than Nazi Germany. Teaching children to sing a song in praise of a man who has a zero track record, has doubled the national debt in, actually it almost doubled it in 90 days. He's never held a job. I mean, he, he, he's one of the key people in Acorn, which we have discussed on this program, who now, after all of this time, have finally become so pitifully ridiculous, thieving jerks that even the liberal U.S. Congress has had to say we're not funding no Acorn no more. Excuse me, are you going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry. Okay. I am angry about right. this. This Look. is absolutely ridiculous. Their school kids should not be... They can sing a song. It's some of the words, those very subtle little words. Help our president. You know, it's okay. very... Helping is bad. It's very, it's very subtle where we are coming to... A single dictator on this planet. That's how it starts. Very subtly. Oh, aren't the little elementary Look. kids cute? No, you bashed me last week. I'm going to pay you back. Aren't, isn't it cute that the little children are singing a song about Obama? I'm going to tell you what. If I, have any, if I had any kids in school and such foolishness as that, I don't believe it ever even have a chance in Santa Rosa County. But if, I, if it ever gets near me close enough that I can drive my automobile, you can rest assured I'm going to disrupt the ceremony. Uh, that is ridiculous. Do me Go a ahead, Deborah. Do me a favor. I'm not happy with him either, so don't put me in a position where I have to defend him because, because it, that's ridiculous. It's, he's, it, I know it's school kids that'll sing the song. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it's just abs on. it's absolutely nuts. It's ridiculous and... and Look, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just funding my tree hugger here a little bit. But, uh, I, you know, I hope, I hope you all are as outraged that, that I am. Uh, it just, abs it just, it Most just. Most of us have other things to worry it about. It just, it, it, yeah, but, but we see it. If you haven't, you know, those who don't learn history. Right, I understand that. You I'm know, little, it, it happens to right. you again. The exact I'm a same more thing. irritated about the bailouts. The, 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 the exact failure yeah. to pay attention to single parent health care. And, and, and I'm with you on that. No, you're not. A, not on the health. But right? no, I'm not with you on that. I'm saying I'm. Uh, but but on the on the bailouts, on, right. on the bailouts and all that. But this is where it starts. Taking these little kids and teaching them it's okay to praise as if Obama is. The savior of the world. You know Reagan spoke to him about tax cuts, right? And that's good. <laughs> you better believe it. Under Ronald Reagan's tax cuts, Work the out. Federal Reserve Work. took it's, in it's three times right. more money it's worked out right. than they were previously. Even the most, most staunch Democrat in the history of the United States of America, John F. Kennedy, lowered income taxes and more money came into the Treasury. It's a fact. Go look it up. I think we should move on. You, you this, think? Is, this is not productive. What, what, when, when, when I get a leg up, you want to move on, huh? Let's touch on something that um, I think we can both agree on, and yet you can rant and rant. <laughs> okay. We're once again seeing the the sort of the sort of ugly head of gun control. 
is rearing is rearing itself again. Yes, we are. Um, this time we've got a bunch of mayors throughout the state of Florida and throughout the U.S. who have signed on to this. You know, it, it was started by started by Mayor Bloomberg, right. who's a millionaire. In, in New York City, he's the mayor of New York City. And he has a guy paid for him that right. takes a gun to protect you him. You said it before I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, has he doesn't a, have to worry about security yeah, right. at his million dollar right. mansion. He's not worried about crime on the streets of New York, but right. you should be. Right. And of course, the same problem in D.C. is you're not allowed to, well, apparently Heller case says you are allowed to carry one. Finally, that, that was it changed. It has not been implemented. Let's, uh, let's start, because all politics are local, let's, let's, let's talk about right here in our neck of the woods, yes. first of all. Um, my hat's off and continues to be off for Greg Evers, our state representative, yes. uh, who has always been a staunch uh, gun rights person. Right. Uh, worked... Uh, day and night to get the Castle Doctrine yes. enacted in the state of Florida. And we appreciate it. And you, you better believe I appreciate it. And, and, and with that, I got to tell you a little funny story. Um, and I, you might, I don't know if you've noticed them or not, but all over town, there is billboards up for the NRA. And Greg Evers is wearing a, you know, he's got his camo on, he's yes, holding the shotgun. So I called. I called his representative uh, at his office and I said, "Look, I need you. To, I need you to get a message to um, the representative." And she said, "Well, okay. What is your message?" I said, "Well, I wasn't aware of the billboards, and I looked up there, and I ran off the road into the ditch when I saw that it was Greg Evers up there, and uh, she got a big kick out of that. But uh, uh, locally." Um, we don't have any, in, in too the, many in problems. the panhandle. I'm not too worried right. about. Right, but your research has found that Tallahassee and Jacksonville mayor both signed it. Tallahassee, Florida, and Jacksonville, and 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 this is how this stuff creeps in, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you yeah. you know you say it'll never happen in my backyard. Well, there's right. probably people in Tallahassee which. Which Tallahassee, there's uh, marvelous hunting areas around there. I, I think not a whole lot different than, than than our part of the country up here. Yet they have a mayor that is well, that, that is in favor of gun control. Here's the Tallahassee connection: is that the chambers of commerce throughout the U.S. are um, uh, against gun rights. They're pro gun control. Right. And um, the Chamber of Commerce in Florida has a lot of uh, influence in Tallahassee. And I would, I can only guess that filters down to the local municipal level as well. You know, aside from the legislature, I can only assume they have an influence at local level as well. Right. And then that's what I'm guessing is is a part of that. Well, I would hope, and uh, you know, here here's the thing that I love watching. Um, the the anti gunners try it. They try it nationally. They try it statewide. Right. They they try it even locally at times. The the flip over in Congress in 1992 was all because when the Republicans regained power in Washington D.C., it was all over right. uh, uh, telling me what kind of gun I own, and, and that clip's got too many bullets in it. And and you know over and over and over the the NRA has always taken a position, and and, and there's a lot of other organizations that are that are that are pro gun also. But the NRA, most specifically, has said, you know, we, you know, we have rights. It's in the Constitution. Right. We would appreciate it. We'd appreciate it if you not mess with it.